But I walked into Starbucks one day and it was just a few days after shutting my business. And I was looking for inspiration for a new business that I wanted to set up. And I saw the business card for the Mime Workout on the counter and I picked it up and I went to the website. And what I found was it was really easy to follow. It was really short and concise. Each chapter was easy to understand. And although I, I knew a lot of the material, it brought it back to me. And it summed up some of the other personal development that I'd learned in the past. And some, it made me realize that a lot of the stuff that I knew I'd learned, but I hadn't actually put into practice. And I think that's what it really did for me because it was so easy to both listen to and read. I could re-refer to it anytime I wanted to. I had my own business and it was a successful business and, and we did really well. It was a locally award-winning business, but I was in a, an industry that I didn't like. And although I liked the job that I did, it was, it was okay. And as I say, the business was successful. It was something that I wasn't really passionate about. So the one thing that I've really learned over the years is you can have your own business, you can do a job that you like, but unless you're really passionate about something, you're never gonna make a great success out of it. And that's something that I learned from this book again. I was distracted. I was looking for something else and I wasn't putting my full attention into something that I really should have been. And that's because I didn't really like it that much. In the book, I really liked the fact that it was short, it was concise, it was to the point. I'd read a lot of previous personal development books which this book actually covered the subject matter but in a much shorter, easier to understand way. I wasn't buried in long chapters that I'd get bored with halfway through and, and quite often. Although it kind of interests me, it was so long I would fall asleep. I could just go back to one of the, the chapters of this book and it was only a few pages long and it would sum up the whole subject just in that chapter and just over a few pages. So it, was, it could just be read in 10 minutes. The difference between when I was growing up and I was one of five children was that there wasn't really an, an awful lot of option of what you could do. You either worked in a factory or you worked in an office. And my parents said to me, just get a job and you know, do as well as you can in it. And really, that's what I did. I ended up in engineering like so many other uh, young men like me. And um, it wasn't because I really wanted to do it, it was all there was at the time. But I didn't really like engineering, so although I did the best I could, I didn't do it brilliantly. And to do something in the, the best way that you possibly can, to do something of excellence, you have to really love what you do. So I told my children to only go into something that they really love doing. My son is an accountant and uh, he really loves what he does because he loves money. But he's also a DJ and he does really well at that and he also earns money at that so that keeps him very happy. My daughter's always, my eldest daughter's always loved acting and she's now actually an actor and she's doing really well at that. I've got another daughter who's working in animation and my youngest daughter's just gone to university to study film production. These are all the subjects that they really loved as, as kids and as growing up and took the most notice of at school, the things that kept their most attention. So I knew that to encourage them into something that they would really be passionate about, they were more likely to get work in and jobs in because they, were, they really loved what they did. I think the book would benefit lots of different types of people. Um, one of the people that has benefited from it is my youngest daughter. She was really struggling with relationships. Uh, she was probably a little bit shy, so she was acting quite a lot different, quite overconfident. 
and probably attracts in the wrong people. So I, I showed her chapter four um, about personality. And I think that she really took something from that chapter. She understood probably where she was going wrong. Also, I think this book would benefit from somebody like me that was actually in something that they were in just because they found themselves in it. And whether they were doing it well or not, they really wanted to change career and do something that they'd really love to do. And this is something that um, a lot of people get stuck in. They just end up stuck in the same old job all the time. They really want to be, for instance, an acrobat or something like that, but they know that they can't do it. So of course they're not it. And this book would help them realize that they could do it if they actually put their mind to it.